Now, last uh, two weeks ago, uh, did get them over this at the very end, and I had run out of battery. Um, but we'd also worked for quite some time on a lot of other obstacles. And there was also no snow on the ground, so it's going to be a lot different. Yeah. Just really relax there, Leslie. Just relax a little bit. Relax your frame, too. Okay, change. Yeah, you splashed snow on it. Exhale. Don't let him cheat and run in between that and you. Change. Really relax your body. He may jump when he puts a hoof on it. Like spook himself. I don't think he'll jump over it. That'd be good. Talk to him easy, easy. Don't get so close to him. <laughs> what was that about? Again, every time he does something, I'm looking somewhere else. I well the camera did, but I my I didn't see it myself. Just the very end. It looked like he strike. Good. <laughs> what was he striking at? Exhale. If he'll stand there like that, that's good. Just bump his face to the tarp a little. There. Okay, change. When you turn him that way, I want you to back him up a little because she's coming way too close to you. Nice. It doesn't seem bad this way, but the other way he comes a little too close. Good boy. Back. Yep, there you go. Good. As soon as he goes over it, pet him and take him somewhere else. Nice job, Red. If he starts getting too strong, we'll put a rope halter on him. You could even move further away from that tarp because you do have extra lead rope. Good. Okay. Disengage the hindquarters. Yep. Back him up. There. Nice job. Nice job. Again, a little anxious over, but he, he still did it. That's good.